I will I'll do a right click in the pink 2.7 the cell turns orange to show that there's a stop loss trigger there and because I haven't clicked green this is going to be a level stake which means I've, I've backed a hundred pounds already so it's going to lay a hundred pounds which is level stakes so it makes the total back stakes equal the total lay stakes I'll put some more backs in now just so we can okay so I've now got three hundred pounds of back bets and I've only done one hundred pounds of lay bets if I put a stop loss in this time it will do two hundred pounds worth of lay bets to make the total three hundred pounds of lay bets match the three hundred pounds of back bets but I won't put the uh, level stop loss level staking stop loss in this time I'll put a green stop loss in so I'm ticking the green button I'm right clicking at 2.8 to set my stop loss trigger and if this price this front price here the best available to lay price if that moves up to 2.8 Cymatic will automatically put a lay bet in at 2.8 but this time instead of putting 200 pounds in to make the stakes equal it will put a green stake in and what the green stake does is it's a slight adjustment in this case £179.29 it spreads the loss evenly across all the runners so whatever happens whatever the outcome the the loss will be the same in this case £20.71 fortunately I'm in demo mode <laughs> okay um, it's worth noting that if you're if you've greened the market then obviously you haven't got level stakes in this case I've got 279 pounds of lay bets approximately and 300 pounds of back bets so if I removed the tick from the green and then I did another another back bet for a hundred pounds and then I put a stop loss in this stop loss is is a level one so it's going to level off the stakes in other words it won't be green it won't be evenly balanced anymore in terms of where the loss is distributed we use the word green but obviously it's red it's a loss but green means evenly distributing the profit or loss markets going a little bit in our favor this time if I pull the stop loss down tight to 2.62 I just need I just need it to pop up a little bit and that will get triggered pull it down a bit more I'm moving into profitable territory so I'm protect protecting my position by moving the stop stop loss down and there it's been triggered at 2.56 and look at the stake this time it's it's not a hundred pounds because although the first bet was a hundred pounds the stop loss is not just trying to level one bet off it's trying to level all of the bets off so the sum of all those bets now if we look at average odds over here in this bet list you see we've done four hundred pounds of back bets and four hundred pounds of lay bets and likewise if I've got level stakes like that and I then switch back to using green stop losses and obviously the next time I stop out um, I'll go back to having a green position here but not necessarily an equal number of stakes and it's usually preferable to have a balanced position rather than a level stakes position if you have a level stakes position you're saying I want all of my profit or loss to be focused on whether one particular runner wins the race so in this case we're using level stakes at the moment and if repentless lady wins the race we lose 41 pounds if repentless lady doesn't win the race we win or lose nothing whereas if we were using green stakes obviously we'd have a, a distributed profit or loss in an even quantity across all those runners Okay, well thank you very much for watching and bye for now.